We are on our way to Fredericksburg for our 12th anniversary getaway. We are going to start our trip off in Johnson City, going to Texas Hills Vineyard, and then we'll see where else we end up from there. Pretty much. That's the plan. So excited! It's been a long time, it feels, since we've been up here, even though it was March of 2020, right before the world shut down. Yeah, and everything was shutting down last time we were When up we were way. up here, the wineries are talking about all the extra care they're taking and it's like, oh, okay, and then we didn't know that would be our last outing for quite a while. After a quick stop at the Fat Boy Burgers in Johnson City, we headed to our first winery of the trip, Texas Hills Vineyards. We're here at Texas Hills Vineyards doing our tasting and having a lovely time doing it. Lovely. So tell us why uh, Texas Hills is a special. Because this was the first winery we ever came to. And so we make sure anytime we come to the Fredericksburg area, we always kick it off here. They have tastings, six dry. At six, least that's what we did. Yeah, did six dry for $22. $22. Yeah, I'll take a picture of the menu. Um, but, uh, and they've entered a whole bunch of these in the... Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Wine competition. I'm sure others is there. They've won many awards, and aside from being just sentimental, they're always very nice wines. Yep, and a very nice, very nice place. Lovely day. We have just finished at Texas Hills Vineyards and we are headed to the 290 Wine Castle. Yeah. we never been there. Never been there. But it looked neat, like kind of a, you know, a, you know, roadside, like, oh, it's a winery that looks like a castle. But then really looking at it, it looks like it'll be a pretty nice place. Yeah, hopefully it's not tourist trappy. Uh, there's a couple of them. Those for sure, but it didn't seem road. that way. So we'll be there in a few minutes That's and fun. we'll see if they have any good wines or if it's just uh, just the castle. So we'll see, but first new winery of the trip. Yep. There she be. See what this is about? It's a castle. It's a castle. It's a wine castle, sir. Twelve. Twelve fires. Different one. Off to the right, but we're going to the left. But not down the dirt road. I'll do that. Okay. Ooh. Do you feel medieval-y? I'm feeling medieval-y. Ooh, that's pretty. Keep going. We're up hill. 290 Wine Castle. Oh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm loving it. It's silly. Let's check it, it out. It is. It is. We do know that there are parts we're not going to be allowed to go in because we're not wine club members. We are at the 290 Wine Castle. We're less than 10 minutes outside of Johnson City. They have a moat. Well, they have a pretty cool aesthetic. Yeah, it's neat. Like I said, from what we saw, it seems like it's not just a gimmicky type place on the inside. All right. Well, let's check it out. We're at the Wine Castle. We are. And it is delightful in the best way. Yeah, no, they, they have their wines made for them. Yes. 
not here, but like I say, they've, it's a pretty good collection. It's, yes, as in I don't drink sparklings, aside from like New Year's, and I tried two of them and they are delicious. Plan on getting them both, but it's a really nice, really nice place. Yeah, no, it's great. And they got a great view, which we're gonna go check out in a minute. So we have done our tasting at the 290 Wine Castle and very happy. Yeah, it's been very nice. Very nice wines. Um, they get their wines from all around the world. So they're not local, but they source them just for Fourth this year. location. Yeah. And they've all been quite pleasant. Very and nice. I'm going to try and do something fancy here. Let's oh see. no, fancy! Flip. So they have maybe one of the best views I've seen. Yeah. We've come out here for about 10 years and it is just absolutely beautiful off their back deck. If I had a guess, the castle would be to get people to get in the in, door. And but... then they have really great wines to enjoy while you're here. So they were nice enough to let us come check out the upstairs. This is reserved for the wine club. It says reserved, but I'm sorry, I have to sit down and... <laughs> is it cushy? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's so neat, like having it put on Yeah, they got their labels canvas. put on canvas. So we've been here for a little while. It's only a Wednesday, but people just started showing up. Yeah. Driving in from Austin or Houston or wherever they're coming right. from. It'd be a cool place to bring right. family, enjoy friends. friends and family and... But this has been a pleasant surprise. Is he one of those ones that has to stand still no matter what? Tis a flesh wound. Tis a flesh wound. <laughs> so we are at our... Cabin for our stay. The Franciscan Cottage at Durfels. We're right off 290, kind of in between High and Fredericksburg, Texas. And we just arrived, so let's check it out. The owners texted us the combination to get in. So we have our own private garden area. Alright, that's nice. With our hot oh, tub. Mosquito repellent. That's nice. Oh yeah. Here we go. Alright. Franciscan sweet. So this is the Franciscan. And it's like a studio. Mm -hmm. But there is, we've got a table. And I believe in here, a little mini fridge and microwave. So that's cute, hidden. Got some like soap. Coffee oh, stuff. All your coffee stuff. Cork, oh, smart yep. corkscrew. Um, just a nice little storage as well. Really cute that they hid it that way. Yep. Okay, and then we have our nice little recline, the two ends recline. A little Keurig type thing. King size bed. Very nice. Oh, heat. There's a heater in here. Oh, wow. And a vent, like two separate things. Nice little jetted tub. Hello. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, it's nice. So this is our home for the next few days. Yay. Yep, so we're gonna bring in all of our junk and then head and into- then eat. Eat, head into Fredericksburg. Yes, I'm hungry. We are on Main Street in Fredericksburg now, getting ready to find something to eat. So we just decided to get a whole bunch of sides because we are those type of people. Pretzel with queso, cheese wedges 
nachos with ranch and the best nachos in the world. I agree. After our first day of travel and a couple of stops, a couple of wineries, and some food, we are back at our accommodations for the <laughs> night. So we're gonna take it easy, get some rest, and start off tomorrow with Grape Creek. Yep, I tour, think so. We got I some tours tour uh, scheduled Creek. for tomorrow, so we will check it out and check back in tomorrow. I'm starting the day off strong. We had a great first night and looked through the luggage this morning, realized I forgot to pack pants. We're going out to dinner tonight. So I'm running into town to Walmart to buy some pants. And with that little excursion, a clothing catastrophe has been averted. I think we are just about ready to get our day started. It's day two of our Fredericksburg excursions and experiences, and we are headed to the Fredericksburg Mini Donut Company. Yep, get a little breakfast. It's about a 10 minute drive uh, into town from where we're at, which is right kind of near Messina Hall. And some of your friends recently went mm -hmm. to this place, right? They did, and their pictures looked like they really enjoyed it. They looked very yummy. And then from there, I think, hopefully, we might go to the Texas Wine Collective. If, if there's time. If there's see. time, because we have a 12 o'clock reservation for a tour of Great Creek Vineyards. And then a two o'clock tasting reservation for Hilmi Cellars, which we like Hilmi a lot. So. Yep. And then we'll just kind of see what else the rest of the day brings, but that's the start. And I'm looking forward to some yummy donuts. Yep. So we got some cinnamon roll Yay. mini donuts from the Fredericksburg Mini Donut Company and they look absolutely delicious. They make them fresh when you order them and you get a dozen for $7. And then you got coffee, I think. Yep, we got coffee. a nice coffee. So, they look so good. They had, oh, so many delicious choices. Oh my gosh, they're like really hot. Good? Mm. Mmm. Oh, those are so good. Mm. Awesome. We have to move here just to eat these all the time. All right. Oh my gosh, they are so good. You need to try it here. Mm. Oh my goodness. I don't think there's going to be a bad one. Isn't that really good? That really good? <laughs> it is so delicious. It they're like has like a beignet quality. To yes, it they're like batter. light and fluffy. That's delicious. <gasps> so good. After breakfast at the Fredericksburg Mini Donut Company, we head back down the road to the Texas Wine Collective. This is a collaboration between McPherson Cellars, Lost Oak Winery, and Brennan Vineyards. After learning about the wine collective from our tasting guide, Colin, we wandered around the grounds for a bit. Then a short drive later, we arrived at Grape Creek Vineyards for a tour at their facilities. Thank you. 
we just got finished at Great Creek and had a great a tour. experience. Yeah, a tour. It was um, really wonderful. And the grounds are beautiful. If you're Gorgeous. familiar with Texas, it doesn't feel like you're just in Texas. At least the part that we're from. Oh, and even though here in in the hill country, like sitting on that estate, you're just like, I'm somewhere else. It was it was really nice. We are here at Hilmi Cellars. Yes, Hilmi Cellars. Which we, we came to with your brother and his wife yep. a year ago. Insert some footage from that. We made a whole video that we never actually made. Because, you know, pandemic. Yeah. That's that, fun to start vlogging during a pandemic. But, but we uh, fell in love with this place. Yeah, no, we had a, a great experience here March of last year, right, as everything was shutting down mm -hmm. and then life got weird. So we're <laughs> back to try it again. We spent a couple hours at Hilmi Cellars, enjoying their wines, and made a new friend with our server, Megan. Afterwards, we had dinner at Bella Sera, an Italian restaurant in a converted old service station. We are now starting day three. Yes. Of our Fredericksburg winery adventure. We are starting at one of our favorites, High Meadow. We have a tour that we get to do this time around. We've never done before, so we're super excited about that. And then later today, we have reservations at Barron's Creek. Yep, never been there. But other than that, we're going to kind of just play it by ear, see where we end up and what wonderful wines we taste. And super excited to start our day at High Meadow, though. We have just finished our time at High Meadow Winery. We got the production tour, which was amazing. Yeah, one of the uh, owners. Uh, Denise, it was supposed to, so Mike and Denise own High Meadow. They bought it, I think she said 2013? I believe so. Um, but I guess they just gotten like all their shipments of bottles in because they're getting ready to harvest and then in the next coming months and then bottle. So they just got their shipments of bottles. So apparently Mike was busy and he was supposed to lead our tour. But it was just us. She led it. It was so neat being taken by an owner. Yeah, no, it was it was great. She talked about uh, everything they're doing out here and it was uh it was great to see this how they're how they're making wine and they took the time to explain it to us. Yeah. And they're like, we're really busy right now, but here, come along and see what we're doing. So it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, lots of fun. We just stopped at Coleman Cellars. Yes. We've had their wine before. You can get um, some of them at Total Wine, which is where we go, and you have gotten them before, and we've enjoyed them. This was not a planned stop, but one of those, like, if we have the time, we would like to go in. And I would say we were both, didn't go in expecting to be disappointed at all, but it just totally grabbed hold of us. We are headed now to Barron's Creek. Creek, which we're excited about. Um, this is a reservation we'd like, we did want to make sure we got here. We've heard wonderful things, so we'll see how Barron's Creek goes. Yep, we'll see what's next. We moved a few minutes down the road to Barron's Creek. We have a reservation, so we're going to do some tastings. Um, we've seen and heard some really great things about here, um, so we're really excited to try it. It's a really nice looking property um, there's some grapes 
right here in front of us um, that are just like waiting to be picked. Yeah. Come, take us and make wine. During our time at Barron's Creek, we had their margarita pizza while we sampled their wines. After that, we made an unplanned stop at Calaisi Cellars, an up-and-coming winery with their first anniversary celebration on August 14th, 2021. We ended the day by walking around downtown Fredericksburg and eating dinner at Pasta Bella before calling it a day. Saturday, our final day in Fredericksburg. We've uh, left our little cottage and we're gonna head into town and walk Main Street for a little bit. And then at noon, we have our final thing we're gonna do. Grape stomp. Woo! We are going to do a grape stomp at Texas Heritage Vineyards. We've never been there, but we're super excited to do a grape stomp. So we'll see what else, but we're just gonna kinda take before then a little bit easy, see what's happening on Main Street, and then stomp some grapes. did our grape stomp at Texas Heritage Vineyards. It was really neat and it's like back. It's not on the main 290. It's kind of out in the country a little bit more. But it was so much fun. It Stomping on some grapes. It was, yeah, just something never done before. It was fun. You know, it's all mushy and cold. Yeah. And... And it was a lot of fun. We got to put our footprints on uh, some t-shirts. So we're now actually heading to their tasting room, which is where we went first, thinking yeah. that's where it was. Yeah, that, yeah. And it's actually at their like production facility. We showed up at the thing off of 290 that said Texas Heritage Vineyards, and we said we're here for the grape stomp. And they said, oh no, you're eight miles away from where you need to be. Well, it looks at clock, okay. Glad we got here 30 minutes early. So but it all worked out okay. And we got our t-shirts and mm -hmm. everything we have tasting tokens for the, 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 uh, tasting, the, the room. tasting room, which is where we headed, are headed mm -hmm. now. So we'll end our, our Fredericksburg trip with a tasting at the Texas Heritage Vineyards Tasting Room. We just got back home from our four days in the Fredericksburg area. We visited 10 different wineries down 290 in between Johnson City and Fredericksburg. And we really did enjoy all 10 of those wineries. They were really wonderful. We're gonna leave the websites of the uh, wineries that we visited down below. And if you have any comments about places that we definitely need to check out, places we need to stay away from, any other comments about things we could do in the Texas Hill Country area, just go ahead and leave that down below and we will definitely check those out. And if you enjoyed our video, please hit that like button and subscribe.